as you could probably tell we have moved during this whole move and settling in i haven't been able to do any pottery so for the past four or five months i haven't been able to do anything but i am happy to say that i am back and i'm ready to get started again and i just thought what better way to start pottery again after a move than to make ceramics for our new home so that's what i'll be doing today i'll run you through everything that i want to make and yeah, I'm excited to get started. Cool. <laughs> okay, so a few things that I would like to make today. An egg holder, hot plates, a bookend. Please excuse my terrible drawings, but <laughs> some egg cups, pot plants, a coffee table feature vase um, and then a vase i won't do these two today uh, just because they are bigger projects but it is still on my list for what i want to make for the house Okay, so base, back, support. So that one's drying down there. I've just made the components for the bookend. I'm just waiting for it to stiffen up just a little bit so that it's easier to attach everything without it flopping. Um, I think I'm going to make the egg cups next. Okay, so I just hand built a little egg cup, but I don't know how I feel about it. It looks a little too wonky, like a child made it. <laughs> I might leave this for now. 
and when I take my wheel out I might try throw it instead of hand building it um, I think it just might look a little bit more neat <laughs> anyway I just made another egg holder I know what I just said about it not being neat enough but I figured I might as well just fire them because they're ready made so we'll see how they turn out now it's time to assemble I need to make sure that this is actually 90 degrees because I kind of freehanded that. So right now it is lying on its back so it will actually be upright like that so the side will be against the books, the side on the shelf. But yeah, I'm not moving it because I don't want to ruin it. I'm just going to let it dry like that. I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit just to stiffen up and then I will make an attach feet. So I'm going to leave this to dry like this. I don't want to move it because the more you move it and the more you bend it, the more likely it will warp or break or crack. So I'm just going to leave it like that until it's dry enough for me to pick it up without it distorting.
just going to paint this in white under base and then do a clear coat over. So I ended up not making the pot plant um, and I made little bows instead. The bows are going to be little fridge magnets. I made one blue, one white. And despite what I said before, I actually really like how these little egg cups turned out. I think they're really cute um, and I think they look better as a pair. I am so excited for getting started again and I'm going to hopefully be carrying on with the weekly videos so stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it really does help out. It's free for you but it helps me a lot so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.